guys welcome welcome back to my channel let's go ahead and do the daily divine masculine check see what is going on with him see how he is feeling today what is the major energies of the divine masculine spirit he's in an energy of a mature man I feel like some of these divine masculines are in an energy of just finally awakening, finally opening their eyes, seeing the wisdom. If you haven't watched my previous video yesterday, I feel like this divine masculine has finally stuck up for himself and is speaking his truth. What else is going on with the divine masculine spirit? children. For some, this Divine Masculine may have children. Um, I'm also feeling that some of these Divine Masculines may want children. And I feel like he sees the true gem in a Divine Femme, the person that he may would want to have children with. He may have told you that he wanted children with you specifically. Um, but I do feel like it just could be a multiple of things. Um, when it comes to the children, maybe you are pregnant with his kid or he has a baby on the way. Definitely take what resonates for your current situation. Disregard what doesn't. What else is going on with the major emotions of the divine masculine spirit? For some, I also believe this is just like a maturity level. I feel like he has kind of leveled up in a sense where in the past he was very immature. He could... Um, be very immature in his communication as a, a child not really knowing how to express how he feels going on with the masculine. beauty queen I definitely see this divine masculine um, is seeing you as that true gem beauty queen a lot of passion that he has for you still I feel like for some, y'all may still be having sex together or you may be having sex in the future. But there is an energy here of him seeing you as his beauty queen. A very passionate energy. Love that he has for you still. And one more card, Spirit. New love. Yeah, I definitely feel like this Divine Masculine is going to be reaching out. Um, pretty soon wanting a fresh new start with you a new cycle. I do feel like Valentine's Day is coming up So there is going to be some kind of dating energy and wanting to take you out Valentine's Day do fall on a Friday I believe here in the United States. So I definitely can see you going out on a night of town with him um, Definitely coming together rekindling y'all's relationship I'm going to, wow, look at that. It was going to, I just took the bottom deck in. Look, there is definitely a twin flame energy here that he is feeling for you. Ooh, look at that, fun times, guys. Y'all are going to really definitely this weekend, not even, maybe not even this weekend, but possibly this weekend, but I know Valentine's Day is coming up, I believe, next week or not. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, there is going to be some kind of energy that's going to be fun. It is a past life energy that he is feeling. So it's obviously you, Femmes. Let me move this over. Ouch, that was hot. <laughs> I feel like this Divine Masculine um, has left a karmic situation if he hasn't already. He sees the beauty in you. I definitely see you getting dolled up. And let's go get one more card, Spirit. One more card. How else is Divine Miles going to feel? What's this Divine Miles going to feel? <laughs> There's that true gem. So for some, I feel like y'all are long distance. He's going to be wanting to travel to see you. Um... He's going to take action. He may be flying to see you due to, you know, just finally being free from a third party situation. I also feel like he is longing for you, yearning for you, missing you, 
there's some kind of waiting energy here too. Maybe if you're that your divine masculine is not currently done with a situation, do know that he is definitely um, missing you. There's some kind of longing energy that he's feeling for you. So let's see which cards are we going to use. Why is mature man here, spirit? Why is mature man here, spirit? Yeah, I told you there is this energy of him finally getting the bigger picture, seeing the bigger picture. I feel like at one point the, the divine femmes have told this masculine over and over again the decisions that he was making were just not good. But I feel like in order to be wise, in order to be mature, you have to kind of go through some hardships, hit rock bottom in order to feel it and see it and believe it for yourself. So I do feel like this Divine Masculine had to go through these karmic lessons, karmic situations in order to really see the bigger picture. Um, I feel like in order to see this fifth dimension with his Divine Femmes, to see you in that light. Let's go ahead and see what else is going on. Why is Mature Man here, Spirit? Tell me more. mature man here spirit yeah I feel like whatever situation that he was going through it's ended ten of swords his thoughts um swords represent our thoughts so I feel like he's laying whatever he is dealing with to rest like it is now put to rest and he is now able to see the bigger picture I do see an owl here and owls are symbolic of wisdom you know that's that bird's eye view seeing the whole picture and I see a flower here next to a man that is just face down. And I feel like there's hope. There's definitely hope here. There's all about rebirth and new beginnings. When one thing ends, there's a new beginning, a new cycle. And the bottom of this deck is the Eight of Swords. I feel like he was really dealing with a third party energy that was allowing him to be stuck. That he, he ended it. Why is children here, spirit? Why is children here? And this could be a third party energy, just three people, karmic, divine femme, and the masculine. And y'all were just like in an immaturity stage of just dealing with drama. Why is children here? Yeah, and I feel like it was just some kind of shadow work that a divine masculine had to go through. Um, a karmic cycle, karmic lesson. He had to really face his third party energy situation um, in order for him to do some work on himself. To finally pick up and, and leave a karmic or a third party energy um, or third party situation. I feel like for some, these masculines do have a kid and so they really had to work on self and take better actions and make better discernments for themselves due to having kids. I feel like some of them had a hard time walking away because of kids. Because they have a kid together with um, a, another partner. Why is children here, Spirit? Yeah, I feel like this Divine Masculine... He had to really reflect and ponder regarding him leaving his kids behind, him leaving a marriage due to having kids. It really was a, a burden or hard for him to walk away. So this was something that took time for him to really um, take that action. It definitely caused some kind of upheaval within in his environment. I also feel like, you know, it torn him up inside. It's definitely hard to walk away and end a family situation when you, you know, you want to be there for your kids and want your kids to not come from a broken home or a blended family. I feel for some, the Divine Femmes may be pregnant by the masculine and he had to do the shadow work. He may have walked away from you, Femmes, 
and now he's definitely wanting to invest again with you there's investment here pentacles represent um, our finances security material it doesn't have to be but just overall security and i definitely feel like he's investing he wants to invest in you again fems why is beauty queen here spirit tell me more why is beauty queen here Yeah, he is definitely being guided towards you. For some masculines, it could just be dealing with financial situations that have caused and hindered. Maybe there's financial restraints due to a third party energy where he can't quite be able to do the things that he would like for you. Um, and third party is just maybe not having a good stable job, maybe not having the financial... Um, financial to be able to provide for you but I do feel like whatever it is divine masculine is being very guided to you he sees the light there's like a, a candle there the passion is still burning for you it's like a wish fulfillment he still has for you why is beauty queen here yeah I feel like this divine masculine the wands energy he could be an aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be and the strength card that is a leo energy card doesn't have to be but this is something that you've been waiting for look at that i feel like that was that longing card look at that the ships they were they're doing the picture is very very similar y'all are both waiting the masculine energy and the feminine energy you know waiting to be guided to get back together Wanting him to finally see the beauty and see the light that you are in his life. Because I feel like he ran away from you and his connection due to just, it was just very scary for him. The connection that you had. And so I do feel like if y'all are waiting, there is some kind of strength here. He is trying to be courageous, fearless to even reach out. I feel like some of these masculines may not see their worth in um you have you he sees you as his beauty queen and i don't know if he feels like he's worthy of that um i don't know if he feels worthy of your love so let's go ahead and see this new love spirit what is this new love about spirit Yeah, I feel like this Divine Masculine has purged a third party energy, has purged a karmic partner, has let go. Um, he, at one point he was bound to this situation and now he's clearing. Purging is all about clearing that energy, letting it go. And so he's wanting a new love situation with his divine femmes, wanting just a fresh new start in general. Some of these masculines may not be able to offer you um the whole loaf but i do feel like this divine masculine has done some work to finally um take some action why is new love here yep he has ended a situation in order to have a fresh new start look at that guys this divine masculine has a small stack here he has let go of the baggage he is no longer carrying a suitcase, um, burdens, or whatever. He's let go. He is feeling lighter. He's ready for a new adventure, something that is going to be very loyal, trustworthy. He's ready to just take a leap of faith because he has ended, let go of a situation that was holding him back. He's purged that. And I feel like this Divine Masculine is wanting to get back on a dating stage. And it's going to be, like I said, it's it's not something that he can quite fully just come out and just rush back in. It's something that he's still dealing with trying to let the dust settle in his own life. But I do feel that there is going to be some kind of energy of him reaching out, texting, maybe coming up for drinks and seeing what you're doing for Valentine's Day possibly. Why is dating here, Spirit?
Yeah, I feel like if this guy or this Divine Masculine, he or she, um, he may be very scared and fearful to ask you out on a date. I definitely feel like I'm just getting nervous, like he's just kind of hiding. Like he is really, really scared to ask you out. Why is dating here, Spirit? Let's pull another energy. Ooh. Spirit, okay, yes. Spirit is just confirming, but I definitely feel like he's worried that if you're going to say yes to him, he's he's hiding behind. Like I said, like he's fearful, he's scared, he wants to. He admires you, and I feel like this communication, it's something that he's scared that you're going to turn him down, you're not going to believe what he's saying, but do know that he definitely wants to ask you out. I think he's scared that you're not going to say yes, you're going, um, it's just, I, I'm just feeling very, very nervous, so... Do know if your divine masculine is beating around the bush or not quite saying anything. Do know that he's could be having some kind of communi inner chatter conf um, communication within, trying to see how to ask you out. Why is dating here? Yeah, the world is all about completing cycles, endings. With endings, there's new beginnings, and he's wanting. To offer you a fresh new start. Something very passionate. I feel like for some. The Divine Masculines may be wanting to offer you some sex. Because the Ace of Wands does represent something very sexual. Very passionate energy. Um, but there's a, a butterfly here. So this is very transform, transformation energy. Um, it may be a different type of wanting of having sex with you. It's going to be something with meaning now. Something with intentions of wanting more because he finally um sees the light now when it comes to you he's let go of a situation and i definitely feel like he's wanting to take action the man the magician wanting to manifest something more and deeper with you why is twin flame here spirit yeah he has learned some lessons He's definitely had to go through some cycles, karmic cycles, going on that hamster wheel and going nowhere fast that he really had to open his eyes. And so I do want to show, say that Divine Masculine has learned lessons. And that's all about the twin flame journey is finding your true self, finding your true north, um, learning these lessons. And so I feel like this Divine Masculine... Um, may have learned a lot from you too spiritually why is twin flame here yeah he is wanting this wish fulfillment he's wanting something that's going to bear fruit this divine masculine is looking at this ace of cups which is <laughs> look at her face um, with like a smirk like he just is so happy like when he's like looking at you he just has this little twinkle in his eye like, come here, girl, or come here, guy. I don't know. But he, you are a wish fulfillment. There's eight of cups here. At one point, he had to walk away from a situation. At one point, that served him, that karmic partner or third-party energy. But now he is looking at this as a wish fulfillment. Because there is going to be some kind of communication action that's going to be happening fast. Eight of Wands is a communication card, an action card, and it's fast energy. Why is fun times here, spirit? I feel like there's that twinkle. <laughs> Why is fun times here? Yeah. I feel like the Divine Masculine is ready to take the mask off. I feel like there's some kind of understanding now that how he feels about you. Some kind of awakening, an aha moment. Some kind of light bulb that's just finally um, shed light on the Divine Femmes. He is seeing who you are. And this Divine Masculine... It's going to be, I feel like, if he takes you on a date or if y'all meet up or whatever, if y'all see each other, there's going to be lighter energy. Look at all this star energy, twinkle, like, I definitely feel like this Divine Masculine um, is in a lighter energy. There's some kind of awakening. And this isn't just some kind of awakening that just all of a sudden just happened. Like, this took a long time. Why is fun times here? Yeah, 
have the Seven of Swords, this Divine Masculine, there was some deception in the past, and I feel like he has left. You know, I feel like this Divine Masculine has left a situation. He snuck out, or he just dipped out, but whatever he did, um, do know that this Divine Masculine has left a situation. The Queen of Cups, this could be a um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. If that is the Divine Femmes, it's a feminine energy. This person is reviewing this Ace of Cups. I feel like he wants to offer you this cup of love. And this person, this masculine, this feminine energy is reviewing it. Like, this is something that she's been wanting. And do know that this is by masculine, Six of Wands energy. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's wanting success with you. Wanting that attention again with you. I feel like some of these masculines could be a little sneaky at some kind of planning. Um, he's going to be masking something and maybe surprising you for a date or Valentine's Day. There's going to be some kind of, in a sneaky, in a good way. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. Why is True Gem here, Spirit? Yeah, this Divine Masculine has done some healing work. He's finally seeing. I feel like he just had like this aha moment. There's a sun here. There's healing rejuvenation a vitality why is true gem here spirit look at that this divine masculine is going to be wanting to offer you it's not going to be a big offer like i told you this is a, a text message this is an email a phone call pages are very small type of energy it's not some grand scheme but I do feel like this Divine Masculine has worked on some kind of healing this is the Divine Femmes energy guys like this is the feminine energy the Empress um, she's a mother figure for some of these Femmes you could be pregnant because she is pregnant maybe y'all have a kid together maybe he sees you as that motherly energy very nurturing loving that he would love to have kids with um, but I do see an offer here coming in for you. And I did see the Eight of Wands energy. So it's something that's going to be coming in fast. Alright, alright. Let's go ahead and see what else we got going on. What is the Levi Masculine's major emotion spirit on how he is feeling what is the Divine Masculine's major emotions on how he is feeling? What is the Divine Masculine's major emotions? There's an energy of feeling very overwhelmed and hopeless. I feel like this Divine Masculine has a lot going on in his life. I feel like that's that Dark Knight of the Soul with that dating card, if you recall very scared, fairly fearful that you're going to say no. Um, and so he feels very hopeless because I feel like his environment is, he has a lot going on by leaving a situation, trying to figure out self, trying to figure out what is going on in his situation. So I feel like he doesn't have much to offer you. He's not feeling very, um, like he sees you as that beauty queen. So he doesn't feel like he feels very worthy of you. But do know at the bottom of this deck, he is very grateful and thankful and appreciative of you always still being there for him. Everything that you taught him, there is an energy of him just also being very grateful for being able to find the strength to leave a situation. But he is stressed. There is stressed energy, you know. I think with change um, in environments and in life, I definitely feel like it does bring on pressure. From, you know, being around people, what people will say, think, what, you know, questioning his motives and his, his every move. Why is overwhelmed here, spirit? Yeah, I feel like this divine masculine is thinking heavily, thinking of past memories. Well, I feel like this divine masculine um, is worried that you're not going to be patient enough to wait for him anymore. There's some impatient energy. I do feel like this Divine Masculine is holding on to the Divine Femmes. 
that he knows that the Divine Femmes has his heart. Um, but there is some kind of swap, swamped burden energy. I think he's just still trying to figure things out a little bit. So have patience. I feel like this Divine Masculine is trying to figure things out. Why is Hopeless here, Spirit? He's feeling very defeated, pessimistic. Yeah, I feel like this Divine Masculine feels like he has regrets that he left the Divine Femme and that she has ended it. It's done. And also, I feel like the Divine Masculine is a little worried and scared that whatever he ended the situation, did he make the, make the best mistakes? Even though in his heart of hearts, he knows he did. But it's scary. Whatever it is, I do feel like he could feel um, very defeated. But I, I'm, I'm getting more of this is towards the Divine Femme, feeling very hopeless. I feel like some of these Femmes have have said no to the divine masculine they've been tired of everything i'm tired of the bs and the back and forth that maybe some of these divine femmes were like no i'm done and he's feeling very regretful feeling hopeless that you've ended things and you don't want to give him another chance or you may not give him another chance he may not have even asked but he still feels it why is grateful here spirit what is he thankful and blessed about look at that I'm telling you, Divine Femmes, he is definitely grateful and thankful for you. I do feel like there's an energy of him feeling bound and tied to you, like he can't let you go. There's a lot of appreciation that he has for you. I definitely think he sees you as like a ride or die person who's been by his side through it all. And it's like, man, this person really loves and cares about me. Even no matter how much I have hurt them, treated them. Why is stress here, spirit? Yeah. I feel like he's stressed. He's feeling grief from a third party situation. This karmic or third party could still be um, burdening him. Um, Carrying things over his head, um, still taunting him, still bothering him. And so it definitely makes him feel a lot of stress. Very tense energy and just kind of like, oh my God, like please. Like she looks like she's holding her ears. Like please, just leave me alone. Like please. He's just, it's really, really, really bothering him. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and... Give an advice and end this reading. Angel spirits and guys, what advice do you have for the, the Divine Femmes or whoever is watching this video? What advice do you have for them for today, spirit? Surrender comparison with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. What spirit is really trying to tell me is honestly... Stop pointing out wrong. Stop pointing out faults. Put it in the past. You know, some people are not the same people that they were. And so I feel like this Divine Masculine's energy is really trying to work on self and growth. And yes, he may not have it all together. And he may have um, slips ups and may fall short of a glory at times. But I feel like stop pointing the finger. Stop focusing on their weaknesses and try to build them up. And if you are watching this and you are feeling like you're comparing yourself to a karmic partner or comparing yourself to whoever, Spirit is saying stop. Don't compare yourself. Know who your true power is. Know who you are. Because I do believe the Divine Masculine is seeing you as a beauty queen, seeing you as a true gem. And definitely sees and that you don't have to um, try to make yourself look good or be good i feel like the divine mouse and sees that in you and they also saying surrender to divine timing that's that patience card sometimes divine timing may differ from your your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow so all in divine timing guys all in the divine timing much love